Hi guys, welcome back to Caramia's Corner. Join me today for a crafty cart tour. So I only have one cart. I am also going to invite some of my crafty friends to join in the fun and show me what is inside their crafty cart. And I love watching these types of videos because it gives us and lend us, lends us a little perspective into what uh, crafters use on a daily basis. So I'm excited to share with you what I use on a daily basis. And here are some of the crafty ladies that I will be tagging. The first one is Terry from Terry's Place. Joanne, um, Nikita, 2471. We have Felicia, FP Handmade. Gina, Gina Loves to Craft. Alma from Sintang Mayumi. Helen, Crafty Mama Diaries. And Linda, LP Red Flower. So I hope you guys can join as well in the fun. Let's get right to it and take a look at my crafty card. Right above my craft cart is this cute little tag that I received from a snail mail friend from Amsterdam. Thank you, Elizabeth. I love this tag and the sentiment on it. It also shows the cute little flow girl. So she is a little uh, drawing that they usually feature in the flow magazine. And you can see right next to it is my little uh, ticket strip that I made in one of my Shop Your Stash and Let's Craft videos. Decided to keep it out and leave it here. I, I just think it gives me inspiration. So now let's have a look at the first part of my cart. Now we're looking at the top of my craft cart. Most of the items here are things I use on a daily basis. So I love the fact that this guy has wheels. I can roll it over to my desk. My desk barely has any storage so this comes really handy. So if you'd like to see my desk tour, I'll put the link right above and you can have a look and see how it looks. So let's have a look at some of the items that I have here. I love glass magnets and birds. So you'll see a few of them here. And then this is a, if you can guess, it is a phone pop socket. And occasionally I'll hang little charms on top of it. I just love the mint color and the word love on it. So let's look at the first item here. This I got recently from Dollar Tree. This cute guy is from Daiso. And inside are my favorite dies that I swear I use these regularly when I make my little layouts or cute little attachments in my junk journals. So I love this. Decided to use this so that they're separated. They're easy to find. I used to keep all my favorite dies in a box and the rest are in a binder. So behind it is my planner and this is my cute My Neighbor Totoro planner. I also showed a video of me planning in it so if you'd like to check that out, check it out in the playlist. We have this hand holder here and I just like the metal piece. This comes from Hobby Lobby. Right over here I have a little terracotta pot that right now is the home of these three pins that I got from Daiso. I love Daiso items. And I have this cute vintage card. This is a business card from a antique store in Fremont, California. They're called My Friends and I. And I haven't been there in, I'd say, oh my gosh, three years. So I think hopefully we can visit sometime soon. I also have some wax thread that I use for some of my junk journals. And then here we just have a bunch of different scissors. These cute little keychains were from my kids. Really cute little turtles. And then I have this tool here. Let me show you. I don't know if you see it. But it is a great threader for when I make my pouches or drawstring bags. This comes really handy. And I think it works well as well for punch needling. So I think I found that from Daiso. Have some twine here. And then behind it, we have this desk organizer. And I think I found this maybe, oh my gosh, three or four years ago from Home Goods. And I really love this image here in the front with the eyelashes. I have my book binding tools here. And then let me just move this. 
uh, my sticker book that we worked on last time in my Shop Your Stash and Let's Craft. Now this one, I have a confession. It is my book log book and sadly I haven't completed a lot. I have three books that I have yet to finish so the list is really small. So it's just a little listing booklet and then I have one of my current journals. We'll do a flip through of that sometime in the future. Another journal that I have that I'm still currently using. Another junk journal. And then I have my little Jean Davenport uh, TN holder that also has a journal that I'm currently working on. Now if we move to the side of it, I have this new journal. And if you've seen my um, if you've seen my surprise box from Little Craft Place, this is one of the items that was in here. So I haven't used this yet. It has two signatures in there. So I'm hoping I can use that this year. And I think it's perfect for spring journaling. And then right behind we have my envelope maker, my Fisker stamping tool. Not my favorite, so I'm waiting to get one in the mail that I'll be uh, happy to use soon. I have my little mat here, and this is for the uh, binding tool for my little junk journals and booklets. So now let's look at the second level down, and I'll show you what I have there. Now let's have a look and see what we have here. On the top part, I have this beautiful doily looking little tray that holds some of my favorite uh, stamps from your creative studio. And then this one I think is from Target Dollar Spot. This is a paperweight and I just love putting it here. I love the vintage rotary phone look to it. A little uh, ink pad there for you. And then over here, I have just a little wooden tray that I got from Daiso and I use it to organize my little ink pads for distressing. I have this adorable uh, stamp that I really love and I use it in my Happy Mail. And then I have this metallic vintage gold wax that I am planning to use for a future junk journal that I'm working on so stay tuned for that. We have our dauber so we have that and then i also have this wonderful stamp i forget now oh, there it is it is from becky higgins and it has some sentiments on it so i love using this as well in my journal this one's a new one i have my other wax seal pellet somewhere else in a larger jar but wanted to try this for springtime maybe create some cherry blossom shaped ones and I have this uh, acrylic block for my stamps. I have a couple of my favorite wax seals here. And this one here shows a little birdie holding a letter. And then the other one simply has a letter with wings. Super cute. Now behind that we have more of these wax seal stamps one with the tree of life and then one with a heart I forget now what the other one is butterfly but i haven't used this uh wax uh, candle yet because i just love the color i'm still looking for someone that sells the same one so searching at the moment and then in this box i am i love the little prints so i have a collection of stamps that again I use for my journaling and it's so beautiful I love these stamps so I use that and then we have a uh, little bin here so these are things that I use the binder clips I use for um, the pages of my journals when I am binding them and threather and just random items there we have an owl tool that I use as well. So we have that one. And then this is the box. 
I was telling you about that used to hold used to hold my die so it has the larger one in there and a couple of these uh, embossing folders that I took out so that I can start using it for springtime projects so we have that and then we are I have some um, markers back there from studio 71 I think nothing super fancy but I got that from I think Ross so I think they work pretty well I like them so I'm excited uh, to use them now this here is a cute little box that I got from the Target Dollar Spot years ago and I made it into a cute little holder for my mini stationery so here is a look of what that looks like and I love it it comes handy if I want to put a note in some happy mail and I just pull this out and work with that so now we're going to look at the bottom of my cart and here I have a wooden tray that holds all my mini punches, uh, paper clips, and then we have another stamp ink pad there, some of my favorite sequins. I love teal blue so I have that binder clips and some cute little gold flakes here for shakers. I rarely make shaker cards but I'm trying to go out of my comfort zone and hopefully make some cards this year so we'll see what happens. Next I have a box right here that my daughter and I had handmade for one of her school projects and she didn't need it anymore so I used it to store some of my items um, from Your Creative Studio and some of my other vellum stickers and I'll show you that right here. So here in my box, I just have random um, stickers and washies that I have that were given to me or was from uh, Your Creative Studio. And I just have this little booklet that holds some of those items. And I usually uh, have been enjoying using a lot of these items for my junk journal and my uh, planning layouts. Now we're looking at the side of the cart. And here I have my mini scoreboard and recollections uh, paper cutter. And what I did was I have these two shower uh, little rings that they uh, that I got from Daiso, and I put it on the side to hold one of these file folder holders. So I kind of worked out so I just have them there in place and I'll show you what's right here on top. So right on top you can see these um, double side tapes dangling. So again these are two um, cute little bears that I got from Daiso and they're basically wall hooks and I thought it would be fun. They match with the white and they look really cute on the side so I hang my tape there. I have another bin that is filled with all kinds of tape but since I want this accessible so I'm not digging through I thought this was a good way to organize them. So underneath here are just a bunch of my punches that I love to use again on a regular basis and so I have a bunch of these big ones some of these and we have those butterflies and then some florals I really like this one I use set for my uh, junk journals and then the usual shapes with the circles and the hearts. So now we're looking at the final spot in my card and this is the right side. I have this Daiso magnetic clip holding this folder. So I love this folder. It has three pockets and right now it has uh, three different stationaries that I'd like to use for spring mail. We have this uh, cute hedgehog, another hedgehog design here, really cute. And then we have one more that I've been holding on for a while, but I'm thinking I should use for um, spring mail is this cute little letter set with cats. Hope you guys enjoyed my little crafty card tour. Thanks again for watching Karamia's Corner. See you next time. Bye.